Roger Arlinger Young was born in Clifton Forge, Virginia, in 1899. Her father worked as a coal miner, and her mother was at home, but often in ill health. Early in Roger's life, the family moved to Burgettstown, Pennsylvania. Much of their available resources were expended on care for her disabled mother. Throughout her life, Young continued to be her mother's sole financial provider. Always academically gifted, Young enrolled at Howard University in Washington, D.C. in 1916. She studied music, but after taking her first science class, General Zoology, in 1921, a new world of interest presented, and she began her search for a place in that field of study. Another class introduced her to studying vertebrate and invertebrate embryology. Her eager desire to learn caught the attention of the head of the zoology department, Dr. Ernest Just. Just was so impressed with Young's talents that he called her, quote, a real genius in zoology. Young originally planned work in the social services after graduating, but just offered her a job as his assistant professor and research assistant. He wanted to mentor her and prepare Young for advancement in the field of zoology after earning a bachelor's degree in 1923. Professor Just encouraged Young to seek graduate studies at Howard University. Unfortunately, funding was not forthcoming, and in 1924, Young began working toward a master's degree at the University of Chicago. She graduated from the institution in 1926. While studying there, Young was asked to join Sigma Z a scientific research society, which was an unusual honor for a master's student. In 1924, her first article on the excretory apparatus in paramecium was published in the journal Science, making her the first Black American woman to research and professionally publish in this field. Young worked with Professor Just for many years as his teaching assistant at Howard University from 1923 and other positions until 1935. In 1927, Just invited Young to assist with his summer research at Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole, Massachusetts. Their research focused on the fertilization processes of marine organisms, how a paramecium control their salt concentrations and hydration and dehydration of living cells. She also studied the effect of ultraviolet light on developmental physiology, looking at how direct and indirect radiation affected sea urchin eggs. While in the lab, Young experienced permanent injury to her eyes from ultraviolet rays. Perhaps unflattering to Dr. Just, it has been noted that Young's name does not appear as a co-author in his resulting publications on this work. In 1929, 30-year-old Young accepted the position of interim department head of the zoology department while Just was in Europe seeking grant money. Much was expected, and the pressure of work responsibilities, supervision of Just research, and pressure to pursue a doctorate degree caught up with Young. 
she entered the doctoral program at the University of Chicago while continuing responsibilities at Howard. Taking their qualifying exam three months later resulted in a failing grade. Young was disappointed, but perhaps more so Howard administrators. The lesson to Young was to not bow to demands that overwhelm. She wrote that Howard made her feel that she had let the school down, the department, the students, and the race by failing to succeed at the white graduate school. After dismissal from Howard in 1935, in 1937, Young began studying at the University of Pennsylvania with Louis Victor Hybram, another scientist she met at the Marine Biological Laboratory. Her dissertation explored the indirect effects of region rays on certain marine eggs. In 1940, Roger Arlinder Young became the first Black American woman to receive a doctorate in zoology. She was immediately recruited as an assistant professor at North Carolina College in Durham. Later, she was hired to head the biology department at Shaw University in Raleigh, North Carolina. Young entered her social activist role while in Durham. This was prompted by the 1944 murder of Private Booker T. Spicely a black man who was shot by a white bus driver for refusing to move to the back of the bus. Young joined the NAACP and traveled the state registering voters. She worked with the Tobacco Workers International Union to approve worker wages. In 1946, Roger was arrested for refusing to give up her seat to a white man and moved to the back of the bus. By the early 1950s, Young was working at Bishop College and then at Paul Quinn University. She struggled with mental and physical health problems, perhaps due to the early exposure of UV rays. She never rose above dire financial circumstances. Fate can be cruel. Young had a brilliant mind and a caring heart who experienced the difficult side of life in spite of genius. She found herself unemployable. In 1955, Young reached out to an old colleague from Howard, Dr. Paul Murray, and asked, What can I do? I've driven myself for 25 years. I have no money for medical care, no relatives, and a deep fear of the institutions down here, meaning in the South. In 1960, Young was hired at Jackson State University, and in 1962, she worked at Southern University in New Orleans. There were reports that Young was unable to pay her rent and was sued several times. On November 9, 1964, Young died at Charity Hospital in New Orleans.